Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about probability and specifically probability of a compound event, which basically just means we have more than one event happening and we're trying to figure out the probability of both of those events happening. So it consists of two or more events and remember our probability of an event happening, we've seen this before, is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. And we see over here on the right, for compound probability, we could just multiply the probabilities of simple events together, right? So if I have you know, uh, the probability of flipping a coin and landing on heads, well, that'd be one over two, right? Because there's two sides, there's two outcomes, and the favorable one is heads, so that's one out of two. Okay, so if I want to do that twice, what's the probability of landing on heads and heads? Well, it'll be one over two, one over two, well, we got a one over four chance, right? Okay, so let's take a look at a couple examples we have here. So example number one says rolling at least a three and flipping tails. So when it says rolling at least a three, what we're talking about there is like a dice, right? So there's six sides, we've got one through six. So it says rolling at least a three. So what would be favorable outcomes? Well, that would be a three, a four, a five, and a six, right? So that's four favorable outcomes out of six possibilities. So that's four out of six, which we know is equal to two over three. Okay, now flipping a tails, well that's just one over two, right? So this would be one over two. So we're gonna take our probability of two thirds and one half, and we're gonna multiply them together. So two thirds times one half, and we're gonna get two over six, which would be one third. So the probability of rolling at least a three and flipping a tails would be one over three, which would be about 33%, or 0.3 repeating if we wrote it as a decimal, okay? All right, so number two, we're gonna roll an even number and draw an ace. So rolling an even number, same idea, we have a dice. So that would be numbers that are two, four, and six. So there's three of them. And remember there were six possible outcomes. So that's gonna be equal to one half. So basically we have a 50-50 chance of rolling an even number. Now when it says drawing an ace, we're talking about a deck of cards. So you do have to have a little bit of knowledge of cards here. There's 52 cards in the deck and there are four aces. There's an ace of spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. Those are called the suits of the cards. So there are four aces, and there are 52 total cards. So four out of 52, we could reduce that. So we know four out of 52 re would reduce to two over 26, which would reduce to one over 13. So we could take one half times one over 13, and we get one over 26. Okay, so a lot less likely uh, for this to happen uh, than it was for number one, okay? So that is how we can find the probability of a compound event.